In this screencast, we're going to do a close reading of the Science Friday website, The Tragic Mystery of the Mushy Apple. As we read, we're going to collect any additional information and place it in our ticket slip. If you don't have this slip, go to your teacher's website and print a copy now. Let's begin. I'd like us to scroll down to the very beginning. I'd like you to read the first paragraph, paying close attention to the diagram, and then reading the paragraph directly after. As you read, see if you can come up with any new information that would help us to explain why that Macintosh was so mealy and the other apples we tasted were so crisp. Pause this screencast, read carefully, and then we'll discuss. You probably noticed that most of the information you've already been introduced to. You're already familiar with the fact that apples are composed of cells. And you also know about the different cell parts that are making up this phenomenon. In the last paragraph, you are already familiar with most of the jobs of these cell parts. But while you may recognize that this information was previously introduced, you may want to stop this screencast and write down anything different or additional that may help enhance your understanding of these cell parts. For example, I noticed the word semi-permeable to describe the cell membrane. You might want to Google this word and insert the definition into your ticket slip. That will help give you a better understanding of what the cell membrane's job actually is. Okay, let's continue. Next, I'd like you to read the paragraph, Crisp and Juicy Apples. As you read, try to see if there's any new information that we can insert into our slip. Pause this screencast, read, and then we'll discuss. After reading this paragraph, I found two sentences particularly important. You have, may have found more or less. Remember, this is just an example of how to do a close reading. This sentence was talking about pressure from the vacuole and the cytoplasm pushing against the cell wall, making the entire cell rigid. This is important in helping us understand the phenomenon. So I'm gonna copy it and place it right here in my slip. But now I need to make sense of it and put it in my own words. Lots of times when I'm trying to make sense of information, I'll go back and look at pictures or diagrams. What that sentence was saying is that when the vacuole becomes really full and there's lots of cytoplasm, the pressure from both of these things pushes against the outer boundaries, making them rigid and stiff. You can imagine if that this is occurring in every cell that all the cells become rigid and stiff. And this leads to the entire apple being crisp. So when I go back to my ticket slip, I probably can boil this down by saying that full vacuoles and lots of cytoplasm equals crispy apples. I also found another sentence important, and that's when they were talking about the lamella. They said that the lamella in young apples was particularly strong, and it gave the apple a crunch factor. So I'm going to take this information copy it into my slip, and I can interpret that as a strong lamella equals a crisp apple. Okay, let's move on to the next paragraph, dry and mealy apples. As you read this, think about any new information. Pause this screencast, read, and then we'll discuss. You may have noticed that this paragraph was the complete opposite of what you previously read. For example, here it's saying that when the vacuoles lose moisture or those, there's less cytoplasm, that the cell wall becomes less rigid. I would take a moment to copy this piece of information into your slip and then interpret it. I also found this piece important, where it said that the lamella can weaken over time and so when you bite into it, all of the cells spread apart, resulting in a really mushy taste in your mouth. Take a moment to copy this piece of information, interpret it, and put it in your ticket slip. Okay, now let's scroll down to the very last section of the reading. I said that you can skip this section in between. What I'd like you to do here is read this paragraph, paying close attention to the diagram trying to pick out any new information that will help us. Pause, read, and then we'll discuss. Here, 
But one sentence that really stood out to me is it said when a cell is placed in water, that water is gonna to wanna to come through the cell membrane in a process called osmosis and inflate the cell. I would take this piece and put it into your ticket slip. To interpret it, take a look at the diagram. You can see the water molecules coming past the two boundaries and coming and inflating this vacuole. As this vacuole gets bigger, it pushes against these boundaries, making the entire cell rigid and firm. You can clearly see the difference between this cell, which looks flimsy, and this cell, which looks rigid. Take a moment to insert the diagrams and the information into your ticket slip now. Now you've done a close reading, and you'll be able to do close readings on other websites that we read about the phenomenon.